Welcome back everyone. This video, I just wanted to talk a little bit more about the if statement and general control flow statements and why they are useful. And this might be super, super obvious to you if you've gone through this before, but if it is, just bear with me or you can go along to the next video. But I think some of the, the challenges to understand the use of an if statement, for example, like what is the benefit of using such a thing? <laughs> So yeah, very simple video, but it's gonna be fun. But before we dive in, wanted to give a special shout out to Dev Mountain. Check out the link in the description, guys, if you wanna help me out. Dev Mountain offers classes in JavaScript-based web development, iOS, and a lot, lot more. They have classes in person, and they even have classes online. So it's a really great way to jumpstart your career or get back on track or to shift into coding if you're doing something else with your life. Check them out, let them know I sent you, and they'll give you $250 off huge savings. I'd really appreciate it. And now let's get back to if statements. So up front, the use case of if statements is pretty clear that, hey, you can do different things depending on the value of something. And up front, that makes sense. But the whole purpose of this is a concept known as generalization. The idea behind generalization, it's basically just a fancy word to say our program works in various situations. Right now, we are getting the name from user input. You may see that hard-coded like so, where the name is actually typed in here. And this is known as hard-coding. You'll often see this for beginner code. They'll put something that's important and is likely to change. At the beginning, they'll hard-code it, and then they'll deploy their application with that value in the code. And this is okay in some situations, but the problem is, is that the application is only going to work with the name Caleb. Yeah, silly example, but this might be some kind of configuration that is hard-coded and then used throughout the program. If we wanna generalize our program, what we're going to do is we're going to basically extract any hard-coded stuff and put that in a database or in some kind of configuration file or text file of some sort. When we do that, we're no longer restricting the application to just using Caleb in this situation, or it might be some setting in some other situation. So with an if statement, we can basically catch all scenarios of possible inputs with only a few lines of code. The benefit of this is that our application becomes more useful. Oftentimes, you might want to create an application that does something in two different ways. And what you could do is you could basically extract this setting into a binary yes or no, one, zero, and you could set that in some kind of configuration file and the way the application is executed depends on that value. So for example, if you're building an application and you want you know, gold members to be able to do everything but silver members only to be able to do some stuff, what you can do is with that user profile, you can say that this person is gold, yes or no. And then inside of our application, we can make it so that the same code is used for the gold and the silver, but in the situation where you're gold, you get a little bit of extra privilege. This is where math and computer science kind of mend because the whole idea of formulas and functions and stuff in math is generalization. A function in math will basically take all possible inputs and give an output. Similar thing in computer science, we want to think very general in that users can come into our application and basically give us any possibility of input and we have to be able to accept that. <laughs> so as we go throughout the series, we're gonna talk about ways to properly generalize so that we can not have to worry about breaking our application if someone were to put something that doesn't make sense. As you're learning, it's okay just to assume people are gonna use your application the way it's supposed to, but <laughs> when you're deploying a real application, you gotta assume everyone's trying to hack your program, they're trying to type whatever they can, they're trying to click things they're not supposed to, and overall, they're just not very good users. If you assume everyone is like that and you generalize your program so that it accepts not only different settings, but also correct and incorrect input, then you are very good at programming. You get lots of jobs, you can make tons of money, and you're a huge success. <laughs> so that's the sum of it. This video may have seemed a little off topic, but I just think it was kind of important to clarify the purpose of some of the stuff we're talking about. Hopefully that was useful for you guys. In the next video, we're gonna get into some more stuff, so please check it out and please subscribe if you've enjoyed this content. Appreciate it and I'll see you then.